Hi and welcome to another episode of the Frame Running Video Podcast. Um, this time from New Jersey in the United States, uh, from the first NAFTA Frame Running Festival, which is uh, a weekend of frame running with, um, yeah, with great frame runners from all over the place. And um, we've had lots of fun checking out everybody's clinics and uh, hanging out, playing together. And um, I'm here with Anne Scott Robinson and he's going to show you some Kanjira technique and also how you can transfer it to, uh, to the left side frame down plane. Alright, so uh, a couple things about the Kanjira. Uh, when you hold it in your left hand, don't grip it too tight. Let it sit in here and don't practice a lot of bending when you're practicing. Um, when you do the split hand technique, you've got really three positions. There's three fingers, this is two. Most people call this one when they teach conjure, but when you play an open tone, you do it with one finger. So I call this three, two, and one. When you do the one, the thumb has to open up, and it goes past the shell. That leverage of the weight of the thumb helps the doom sound. When you go fast on a closed sound, you close the thumb. That's a important to do that. The other thing to realize is the fingertips is really where the energy is. In the beginning you go slow, your hand is stretched out and it's flat. But as you go faster you do have to relax your hand. It's just the fingertips that are making the contact. Not so much the thumb. It's touching but the energy is here and here. So an exercise to get this to happen is you can play uh, four beats and we'll play a double speed on the fourth beat and we're just going to go taka dimi 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 and we're going to take on the taws and accent them so it's going to go taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi taka dimi like that so it'll be like this go slow and increase the tempo with the accent like this. And just keep practicing that exercise to get the fingertips going. Another thing about Conjura is um, it's all double strokes, which are not done when you take it from the Conjura and put it on the frame note. The Conjura is a completely different instrument. Very small, a very thick, loose head that does not sustain much. Uh, on a frame drum, it's very big, thinner skin, lots of sustain. So we're adapting only one thing from the frame drum. This is basically this movement, and I'll show you how to do that on a frame drum later. But if you want to learn conjure, there's lots of doubling. They play two threes together, two twos together, and even double ones. So some exercises to develop that. Um, here's one in six where you can go Six. Like that. You could say you accent the one and the four. That's another thing that's not done on the frame drum is that we start with the three. Most of us that take conjure moves and put them on the frame drum, we go two, three, two, three, and then with our thumb. But on Conjure, you can start here or you can start right here. And this exercise will help with that. Fingering will be three, two, three, three, two, three, one, and then you have a doom on any one is a doom. So you have a double stroke in there, and you can go to the one. If you want to, you can bend the open tones. You can bend after. You 
your strike, so it's like right hand, left hand. Or you can bend very soon, almost sort of in unison. So. Okay, so if we take this exercise in 6 to uh, make it 4-4, four, four, we're just going to add on the end. So that'll be 4, so it's 4, and uh, So now your rhythm, your 6-8 rhythm is going to cross the first three big beats. So the syllables, da ki da da ki da dum da ki da da ki da dum da da ki da dum but the beat is 4-4. Four, four. So to find this, just say taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi to get your subdivision and then say the syllables. Dakita, let's see, yeah. Taka dimi, taka dimi, dakita, dakidum, dakita, dakidum, dakidum, dakita, dakidum, dakita, dakidum, dakidum, dakita, dakidum, dakidum, dakita, dakidum. In the conjure, it's, it's important to make the phrase, not the beat. Don't go. Dakita, dakidum, daki, dakidum. You know, don't emphasize where the beat is with your voice. Emphasize the phrase with the voice, but keep the beat correct. Dakita, dakidum, dakita, dakidum, da dakidum, dakita, dakidum, dakita, dakidum, da dakidum. And then fingering. Three, two, three, three, two, three, one. Repeat that. Three, two, three, three, two, three, one. And then three, three. And the lesson is how to work with some doubles, double threes. So uh, here's the exercise in 4-4. Four, four. Conjura uh, commercial uh, for the Frame Drum podcast. A lot of people do want to develop this too, the split hand technique, and they do it. Right? And everybody usually starts it from out in the center. But um, another way to work with this is to start from the doom and go. You know, you get your double index finger. So the fingering is one, three, two, three, one. And you can bend on the. There's, a, there's a, another one you can practice. And you can practice this in a, in a pattern of three. Uh, let's see. Dunka taka dum, 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 like this. 